raise your hand if this is a mammal. <laughs> All right. Now, does it have normal fur or hair like we do? No. Now, if you raise your hand, tell me what it has instead. What does it have instead, my jelly? It's kind of like spikies or like quills, right? Does anybody have an idea as to what type of animal this could be? This is a porcupine. Good job. And his name is Marty. Now, do you think Marty can shoot his quills across the room? No. No. So the only person who has to worry about getting stuck with quills today is Miss Holly. Yeah. Because if, if Marty gets scared, what do they do? They get nice and big and they stick their quills straight out, don't they? No, they So we don't want, and then if you brush up against them, you can get your quills stuck. Now, can we look? Marty's tail is wrapped around Miss Holly's neck. <laughs> and that's because Marty is a special type of porcupine called a prehensile tail. Porcupine. So all that means is a really fancy word for saying that Marty can use his tail like an extra leg. Kind of like how monkeys might hang from the trees by their tail. You, Marty could hang from a tree by his tail and it wouldn't hurt. Now would you want to pick your cat or your dog up by their tail? And Marty actually lives, he loves living up in the trees. He doesn't like being down on the ground too much and he would be found in South America. So he, the porcupines that we have around here would live in, down on the forest. <laughs> but porcupines in South America, they could live their whole entire life and never go down to the floor. Never go down to the, bo the bottom of the forest. Pretty cool, huh? Now what's this great big thing right here? Oh, his, nose. No. his nose. And I know Miss Holly talked about it with the cockroaches, but Marty is an example of an animal that comes out at night and sleeps during the day. What's that scientific word? Nocturnal. Nocturnal, exactly. Now, can he, do you think he can see very well? Yes. No. Yes. But he can smell, can he? Yeah. And we're just feeding him vegetables. He only eats fruits and vegetables. So does he need to chase after his food? No. no. So as long as he can climb and smell, he's good to go. And when he gets nervous, all he's got to do is stick his quills straight out. And any animal that tries to come and get him is going to get a mouthful of quills. And are they going to try to eat a porcupine again? No. No. Definitely not. No, he doesn't want that for a while. Now, why is he black and white? Why do you think he's black and white? 